Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habit. It's a good morning to you, although I'm aware it might not be morning where you are when you watch this. But the sentiment is the same. Welcome to Holy Habitus, my video blog on discipleship. I've been doing a one year Bible reading plan with some friends from church this year. And uh, today's reading is Hebrews chapter 12. Uh, we've got some fantastic stuff in there, hasn't it? Um, but uh, I want to look at verse five following. It says this. And have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, my child, don't make light of the discipline of the Lord and don't give up when he corrects you. For the Lord disciplines those he loves and he punishes each one he accepts as his child. Lovely concept, isn't it? Um, of God as our father. Jesus taught his disciples to pray our father in heaven, uh, Abba Father even. And we have this intimate, loving relationship with God as our father. And this passage uh, points out that part of the role of an earthly father is to discipline their children. Um, not because they get a sadistic kick out of it or a, a power trip, but because they love their child and they want that child to flourish. And so they want them to form that uh, those that internal structure, that knowledge of appropriate limits and boundaries so that they can make good decisions rather than bad decisions further down the line. And uh, an earthly father will work hard at, at making sure that child is exposed at an appropriate level to the consequences of their actions so that they can um, make good decisions in, in further life. Um, chapter, verse 11 says the same. No, no discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's you know, it's painful, but afterward there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. And just in the same way that earthly fathers are training their kids to flourish in later life, so our heavenly father is interested in forming us for not just this life, but for eternity and making us more and more like Jesus. Children that aren't trained or disciplined in early life struggle in later life to make good decisions. They might live in the here and now and end up hurting themselves, alienating others and not contributing as fully as they could to society. We need to then, perhaps this week, um, keep our eyes peeled um, for those areas in our life where there is hardship or difficulty. And rather than kind of shouting at God and saying, why is this happening? Look for what God might be trying to teach us in and through that and run with the grain of it. Because the chances are that if we learn the lessons of the season, if we cooperate with God on what he's trying to teach us, actually it might be for our good. And the sooner we learn the lesson, you never know, the sooner that difficulty might be removed.